Hey everybody, it's JJ Kitchen from UptownGrowLab.net and we are hotboxing it with our man, Lige Curry. Yeah. Basis extraordinaire for the P-Funk All-Star. Yeah, that's me. So you guys are in <laughs> Seattle for like two nights, right? Yes, sir, and we're gonna be, uh, don't ask me the name of the club, because I don't remember. It's Neptune, the Neptune the Theater. Neptune. U District. Check it out, if you can get tickets. Yeah. They're not down. expensive, they're like 35 bucks. Check that shit out. Come down and see the legendary George Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic. George just passed 75, 76? He is 76 now. He's just uh, the 22nd of July. Nice. And uh, it's a blessing to have that guy still with us uh, for well, a number of reasons. You know, anybody who goes to see the show, I'm sliding my seat back so I can sort of be equal life. Right. <laughs> I don't want to be like too far in front of him, you know, <laughs> sucking up to the camera. <laughs> So George is like he's in his mid seventies. Yes, they sir. do. It's like a ninety-minute show, typically, right? If not two hours. Well, I would say two hours. I mean, he's not on stage performing all the time. He does take breaks. Well, not really, not anymore. <laughs> he called the liar all the fucking time. Um, I mean, he used to take breaks when we would do like um, we get to this song called Maggot Brain, and he would go to the and dressing that guitar room. Guitar solo, right? Yeah, but his thing now is to stay on stage throughout the whole set. Oh, okay. Uh, he's he's changed a lot in that way where he wants to give the people as much of him as he possibly can. Well, that's, you know, that's good. People pay good money to see him. Yeah, and pe some people think, you know, it might be the last time they see him. You know, he's not one of the newer artists. <laughs> that's fucking you know. morbid, but I true. Know. I understand I mean, it. I have a lot of fans that come to me and say, man, I wanted to come because, you know, I don't know when I might get a chance to see him again, you know. Absolutely. And we all understand he's up there in age, but he's not really, really old. No. Like, his thing was B.B. King, you know. He was saying B.B. King was like 85 or something. But B.B. King B. B. never B. stood passed. up on stage, you know. He'd no. Well, he, he sat down for the last 20 years of his career. Well. But I think George now... Uh, takes it a lot more easier. And now that we have such great, uh, you know, medical marijuana uh, all over the country now, he's, yeah. he's pretty much a big fan of using it Hold that for pain. <laughs> okay, we're back. So you were saying uh, about George and MMJ, medical marijuana. Yeah, it's, it's a, a real good thing about him now. Speaking of which, we have a joint of yeah. some white Russian that I just uh, cut and um, That's, this is gonna be fun. trimmed up. Yeah. And uh, you do the honor, sir. You're the guest. I will. You're the guest in the car. In the name of Joe Kitchen, my friend. Yes. Yes. And this is white Russian. I just want to let everybody know. Yep. And I haven't smoked today. I just a... flew in. From San Diego, and we have a show tomorrow, which Joe will be attending. Hopefully, at least the 29th he'll be there. Oh yeah. But we'll hopefully he'll be at both shows. That's the plan. I'm telling you right now, the shows are never the same. But on that note, joint. Bless up everybody. Ah. Now it's like Nirvana, right? It's that first hit. After of like, the whole day. Now, it's like evening now. I yeah. got up and nothing. Well, it's like, I got to imagine when you go to Europe, when you tour in Europe, you got a lot longer than eight hours or whatever. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, the flight, first of all, is going to be six hours or more. Hmm. So, you're... They have so many things that you can do now. But to get back to George, hmm. and before we go too far... Before we forget is what he's trying to say. Yes, he's basically... A big fan of, of medical because he he realizes that some of the aches and pains that he has, you know, the doctors told him basically, you know, vaping is is much healthier for him, and he's been doing a lot of that. And to well, work, the first time I to met work him. for a guy like that is great because number one, you know, as you can see, I smoke cannabis as well, so to have a employer that understands what the employees is doing and sometimes join in, I feel very blessed, to make a long story short. Absolutely. I feel very blessed Absolutely. to have a job of now almost 40 years. And, you know, medical has just really come into his, 
own lately. Yeah. So, you know, before, we were doing what we had to do. Yeah, well, we, uh, we always have. <laughs> I mean, we both grew up in the same geographic part of the country in the middle. And, you know, I got busted for cannabis in 1973. Really? Yeah. You never told me that. Well, you know, it was... Uh, I was really, actually, ironically enough, an innocent bystander. I was 73, hanging, dude? Yeah. September 1973. Dude, we were like 15, 14, mm. 16. Well, I'm a year or two older than you. I'm 56 instead of 57 year of birth. So you're young, younger oh, than you, you Oh, you're born in what, 56? <coughs> yeah. Are oh, you just one year older? No, I'm old then, you know? I mean, like, what? No, no, but what I'm saying What is, are you, like, 61? Yeah. Okay, I'm 60. Yeah. But, you know, <clears throat> getting busted, and I was an innocent bystander. the same standard. age Michael Hampton. Yeah, when he went to play with... Delic. He must have lost his mind when he was on the road with you guys, between the pussy and the, uh, yeah, and the dope. being young. Yeah, 17, 18 years old, particularly then. Yeah, he was 17. Because it was, things were crazy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know, they talk about safe sex. The only safe sex you had back then is, like, no sex. Because yeah. nobody fucked with guys. Well, sex for... for a teenage guy in those days was a big deal. Well, also, George was huge. You know, we were listening to music that our parents didn't want us to listen to. Right. Like all good teenagers. Yeah, we were listening to music that... It, my mother, when she heard George say on one of the records, free your mind and your ass will follow, she literally told me, turn that music off. Was she a church lady? She's not as as much as her mother was, but she definitely is very spiritual. And she, you know, we were like 15, 16 listening to Free Your Mind by Funkadelic. And, but it's just like today when you got the rappers, you got the, some of the, like us, mm -hmm. you know? I like rap, but it's a lot of it that I don't. And it's probably because I don't understand a lot of it. But well, also I feel like my parents, you know, like back when she was scolding me about Funkadelic. When I listen to my daughter's music, a lot of the stuff they <laughs> know, listen to, I'm like not feeling it, you know. Because right. a lot of it's more atonal and, and not, not melodic. You know, what you guys play is funk. I mean, it's real deep fried. Yeah. Dance your ass, fuck your ass tell off, to whatever it may be. You know? it, it's totally different from what you may think funk is today. Like our funk is derived from blues, jazz, classical. Swing low, yeah. sweet cherry gospel. You have a lot of um, uh, funk now that we did, Parliament Funkadelic, George Clinton, that's being sampled by a lot of the rap groups. Well, Cube we're not real knocking that. about that. I mean, yeah, no. we're not knocking that. We, we all were very good friends with, with Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, uh, from the West Coast. Then you got Chuck D and Flavor Flav, really good friends of, of George and all of the guys in the band. And they don't hesitate to say how thankful and grateful they are for Mr. Clinton's music that he produced. Because well, he was a you real could, innovator. Yeah, I mean, you, a their real music. Innovator. Like Snoop Dogg, his first hit record was called. It, it's Snoop Doggy Dog or something. It's doggy style, maybe. Doggy do, Doggy style. I'm not really sure. Excuse me, I, I, you know, I'm not too familiar with <laughs> with, with, the, with the genre, the with his, with, with his the titles. Over. You know, really, I'm not. Yeah, I know. You know, but that song, he took Atomic Dog, which was a big hit record for Mr. George Clinton's solo yeah. career, and he flipped it. Him and Dr. Dre was, you know, instead of. Atomic Dog no. Snoop Doggy Dog Okay, so now we are entering into where Funk is now entering into another uh, not just a genre of music but we're entering into another age where the music is going to continue on Into perpetuity, man Yeah, and yep. I think that it's going to happen like that from each generation on, 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 on mm -hmm. Now that's a blessing Who thinks that? When, that's a, when, you're writing, when you're writing a song, you're not thinking that 
is going to last forever. Right. You know, I don't sit down and write a song saying, this is the one that's going to last forever. Right. <laughs> no, you're blessed with that. And, and that's something that I, I... And it's not just one of his tunes. No, it's not. That's the thing that people don't know. No, realize. no, it's not just one dude. He, he, like, He's got a whole... Oh, my God. Can, that's a if you listen to Dr. Dre's record, The Chronic. <clears throat> now, I know for some of you younger guys, and that's old school rap. But without that, you wouldn't have what... Kendrick Lamar is doing or any of these younger ones now and Kendrick ain't so young these days um, you know but this is the thing that I'm saying it's being passed down it's being uh, rekindled it's, but it's still it's going it's repurposed basically. it's one of my main reasons why I still do what I do because now I realize it's just not any type of music I started with Mr. George Clinton in 1979 well you were a kid too you were much older than Michael well, Michael started in 74. He didn't go to college. I did. Okay. So you were what, 23, 22, 22 when you started playing with yeah, him? Yeah, 22. Just turned 22. Okay. And I'm 60 now, so I'm That's still with your life. Yeah. That's your like career. you said, two-thirds of it, you know? Yeah. yeah. More behind than in front, but we're going to make the most of what is in front. What I'm making the most of now is having a good time with Joe Kitchen smoking yeah, this great herb. Yeah, this is good, right? And he grows it. Should I tell him that? Oh, they know. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Trust me, they know. <laughs> Make my funk the P funk. I want to get funked up. I want the bomb. I want the P funk. Don't want my funk stepped on. Make my funk the P funk before I take it home. Now, that's how I feel about that joint that we're smoking. We got more to come. There you go. And I got Mr. Joe Kitchen's book. Yeah, this is a book filled with knowledge. If you just so happen to want to start growing, you might want to pick up the book. Definitely. Uh, I am now. I finally finished reading the whole book. Oh, I, did you really? I, would, I, would, I think most people just look at the pictures. Yeah, a lot of you. Honestly. Yeah, my, my girl, she kind of busted me. Because she was like, you haven't read one page. So she started <laughs> reciting things of how you... You got like some grow techniques in there. She started running it down. I got to meet Star, man. I got to meet her. <laughs> yeah, because she was like, you know, maybe you should take it upon what he's doing. We could probably save a lot more money at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, she's kicking well, she's my not, butt. Well, she doesn't tour, right? I mean, she's, she's mostly at home in SD. Well, she has been in the last few years, uh, but she's working on, we're trying to release her newest record called uh, living Galaxy. Star Colors, correct? Yes, yeah, Star Colors. And where can she... It's, it's she's a Star she's... Colors Crew is the name of her band. Okay. And it's spelled S-T-A-R-R-C-U-L-A... C-U-L-L-A-R-S. Does she have a website? Like Star Colors? Uh, she has right StarColors.net. .net, okay. So check her out, guys. And, you know, pull her up on Facebook, whatever, but... And what about you? You've got you've got your own shit going on outside yeah, of P-Funk. Well, P-Funk has is, is definitely been a job I've been doing for a while, but P-Funk, the job that I do with Georgia has allowed me to start other bands. Mm -hmm. I have a band in San Diego, which is where we live, San Diego, California, Yay, called Steve. the Naked Funk Project. It's Lige Curry and the Naked Funk Project. <laughs> and you I may... also have a new band that I'm working on called the Lige Delic Band. It's Lige Delic. Well, that's your well, handle on Lige Delic. L-I-G-E-D-E-L-I-C. -E -E and uh, <laughs> follow him on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'm I'm doing a few things, and I'm trying to make time for all of this, you know, because Mr. Clinton has been working like a mad dog. Well, you guys have been on the road. You're on the road, what, 100 days a year? Was that fair to say? I would say we do up to from 75 to 150 gigs a year. It's a lot. It's it a is lot. for a 75, 76-year-old man. What about for a 60-year-old man? Even for a 60-year-old man, because when I come home off the road, bro, I'm beat. No doubt. Well, the good thing about you guys, you sort of he sort of staggers it. And sometimes I text days. Joe and I'd be like, Joe, hey, how you doing? I need some there? herb. I need uh, to get high. No, no, I'd be like, send me some papers or some shit. <laughs> You're right. right. Anything, you know, just to talk to Joe is good for me. It's, uh, it's therapy. I appreciate it, bro. Back <laughs> at you. Back at you. I mean, from New York to Seattle. Uh, hello. This guy has been across the country. <laughs> Do you well, know you've been, how you've been around the world, so you know. Oh well, you know it's it's kind of a, the, the goes with the job. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you work for a guy like Mr. George Clinton, 
You're gonna travel. I think it's awesome. I think it's, I think awesome. it's pretty cool too. Yeah, you have been blessed, man. You know, I know you know that. And I, I, my mother won't let me stop knowing it. She says to me, "Not only do you have a job, but you have a job that you love to do." And you do it. Well. And I have some brothers and a sister. They love their jobs, but you know, you hear more complaints from their nine to five situation. Oh, yeah. And uh, but I put work in. I'm the oldest of, of my family. My mom. <laughs> the brood. Yeah, I'm the oldest guy. And, and is I, five kids in your family? It's it's six. It's, six. It's, it's five boys and one girl. Oh, that poor girl. Sibling. <laughs> and she's in the middle. Oh boy. She never felt loved. Really. But we always used to tell her, you were the only one that was loved because. We all had to sleep in the same room, and she got her I'm own. Share the room. same bed. Yeah, you know, I had to sleep with my brother. You get your brother's underwear, farting and, and pissing in the bed and fucking shit. Oh my she's God. in her own room. She's, and she's having a great time. On. Yeah, yeah, you know. And my mother says, "Hey, listen, she's the only girl. You gotta understand this." <laughs> and if you don't and I'm touch like, it. I'm the oldest. Wait, like, don't does that count for anything? You should understand even more. I know. <laughs> and then I started playing guitar, right? So, I, I, you know, me and my cousin, who is Michael Kidd Funkadelic Anthony. Yeah, if you've ever, you should go to YouTube and everybody and anybody and check out Maggot Brain by Michael Hampton. And if it's Michael Hampton and Ricky Rouse, it's even better. You like? But I do like Blackbird McKnight. Blackbird is awesome, but I don't know how many, he's actually, Blackbird and Ricky, I have them doing part oh, of the way. solo oh, and that's yeah. actually on YouTube if you search our channel yeah uh, people go to Uptown Girl Lab um, Mega Brand I'm about to go to Uptown Girl Lab and check it out it's a very short snippet I shot it when you guys were in Seattle yeah or in New York I can't remember anyways it's Blackbridge with the band now yeah he's with All the right. band now okay. matter of fact I um, we just acquired an endorsement with GoPro Oh, really? So what I do, or what I've done, you know, I have a YouTube channel. It's just under my name, Lige Curry. And uh, I have posted some shows <coughs> from last year and uh, maybe year before. And oh, yeah? I'll have to check that out. From my okay. angle. You okay. See, this is what you... Yeah, but you... I'm but in but the back. But you're in the back, so you get the full... I'm in the back, so I, I hook my GoPro up on my amp, you know. Okay. And I have it, like kind of propped up to where it's got an angle where you you see like the back of me almost yeah at times and then you but you see like the audience and you see the front line where George and you can see the reaction of right. people and he's facing back a lot of the time it's, it's kind of like giving you my angle of what I Your see every night right? yeah my perspective every right. night so I got some pretty good shows uh, nice. that, you know, that's been getting really good. I've been getting a lot of subscribers just posting shows, you know. Well, so. you know, the, the shows that your band does, they're all, I mean, if any, nobody's ever seen P-Funk, George, mm -hmm. definitely check them out. They're come to a town near you. Oh, yeah. Uh, just for the f sheer, if you're at a pure dollars and cents, yeah. they are so worth the money you're gonna say it's not really that expensive no it's not it's not you know? it's 35 bucks for the shirt down here which is cheap yeah, i mean you're gonna get a expensive. good two hours of really amazing musicianship i mean the guys in your band the chops between all of them combined it's insane who these people have i didn't even for. think about it like that oh yeah man it, it, it's wow there are so many tight players right. with, and i'm not a musician right but i've been watching music for 50 fucking years the first first artist I saw was Muddy Waters. Well, I trust your judgment. You know, well, <laughs> you're in the middle, but you should know. You play with these cats. But being a New Yorker, uh, well, I'm going to tell you, every time you go to New York, you have to kick ass mm -hmm. because the critics come out. And sometimes the critics, the worst critics are the audience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they're the ones that's going to let you know whether you're on the one or you're not. Always on the <laughs> one. Always on the one. <laughs> Well, we have to keep it on the one. It's part of the music that we do. Yeah. But it's also a part of dancing. And that's a big part of the P-Funk shows. People Shake normally, they don't sit down much. George has a thing with him even at, in his 70s where he's all over the place, all over the stage. And 
He has a lot of his grandchildren now in the band. Right. It's a few of us old fogies still around that he keeps uh, to keep keep some of the, the, the you know the legendary music. We will always have to play Flashlight. We will yeah. always have to play Tear the Roof Off. We will always have to play Knee Deep. It's like a part of George. Well, those are the standards. You know? those yeah. are the, and the thing with those songs is you can riff on them 16 ways from Sunday. Right? Yeah. Uh, between I know. Greg on the horns oh, and man. doing his scat singing. Oh, man. But anyway. like, and, and once again, the fucking. So, uh, you know, it's been I'm awesome. Down. It's awesome hanging out with you, man. We are going to um, sign off for My now. My friend. If you're new to the channel, we uh, upload five to seven videos a week. Uh, mostly cannabis stuff, but obviously we hang out in sesh with very cool people. Uh, he's got the hoodie on, the UGL hoodie. Thank you, man. Thank you for representing. I feel blessed. <laughs> because you are. Yes. <laughs> um, so if you like what you see, subscribe, smash that thumbs up button. Uh, definitely check out Lige's channel. Yeah, um, Lige Curry. Stay lifted, smoke a joint, roll your bongs, do what you gotta do, and we will see you tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. Get that funk on. Woof, woof. On the one. Base house, Base house. Base house.